Hello, my name is Emily with the First Colony Branch Library, and I would like for you to paint with me. We are we're going to be doing Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night, but with a little bit of a fantasy twist. Uh, all you'll need are just a few colors. You'll need orange, pink, white, blue, purple, yellow, and some black. And so I hope you feel excited and encouraged and ready to get creative. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is get started with our yellow. We're gonna be making a gradient of different colors on the canvas. And you're just gonna go ahead and just slap those colors on. Feel free to do the sides of your canvas if you want. You don't have to. They can remain unpainted. Yellow is my favorite color. Such a bright and beautiful color. And you can do any kind of strokes you want. You can just go boop, straight down if you want or you can do little X's to make some textures. Whatever you're feeling, whatever makes you happy. Heck, you can do like figure eights. You can go buck wild. Just as long as it makes you happy. Yellow. And so you're just gonna do, because you're, what you're gonna do is we're gonna use our yellow, orange, uh, pink, purple, and blue, and we're gonna just divvy it up like that. And if you want, feel free to ch wash your uh, brush in water before you go to the next color. I'm feeling dangerous, so I'm not gonna. Just gonna, just gonna go right for it. As you can see, I'm very fond of the texture X method. But I can't do that too. I'll do that. I'll do some of that. And that's okay that it looks like it's about to run out of color. That'll give some fun look to our next color. I am gonna wash my brush for me, so I can. Uh, I'm gonna add a little more yellow here to just give it a little blending, blending. Say oh no. There's nothing to say oh no about. As long as you're having fun. In the words of Bob Ross, only happy accidents. Alright. I'm gonna wash my brush for the next color though. Just because I don't want that much orange in my in my pink. No, thank you. We're using kind of a, a hottish pink, so be prepared. It's gonna be very, very exciting. Oof! Even I didn't know it was gonna be that pink. <laughs> so pink. Still some orange got in there, and that's okay. That gives it some depth. So pink. Pink. 
page with me in the space. Hope you don't mind my singing. Whenever I'm doing something, I usually listen to music. So if I'm not listening to music, then I make my own. <laughs> I do hope if you decide to paint with me that you post your paintings um, on our Facebook. That could be the Fort Bend County Library's Facebook or the First Colony Branch Facebook page. Or just keep it to yourself and show it to your friends and families. I'm sure they would be encouraged by it. They would enjoy seeing it. All right, we're gonna definitely wash our brush before we dip into that purple with this pink. <laughs> Woo, so pink. And now for the purple. Ooh, I need to dry it better. See how it's so thin? That's because I did not dry the brush as well as I could. Should have beat it. <laughs> All right, as uh, Bob Ross would say, beat the devil out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely use, I'm gonna use a different brush while this one soaks because that is too, very much too wet. Brush. Oh, that's better. Much better. This is a little smaller, so take me a little bit longer to do the next row. rows are all uneven and different sizes and you would, and I would say yes you are correct that's because we're getting creative doing our own thing making it unique because I'm sure yours will be different sizes and different shapes than mine and that's great Now for the blue. I'm not sure what kind of blue you have. Um, I would definitely not recommend phthalo or phthalo blue. Um, those are extraordinarily dark and deep and so if you're gonna put anything um, black on it, it will kind of just disappear into it. Which, that's fine. If that's what you want, go for it. Honestly, that is a beautiful blue. I love phthalo blue. It is a deep, 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 gorgeous blue. So you know what? Go for it. Use phthalo blue if you want. Whatever makes your heart happy. I'm using a uh, marine blue is what it said on there. And since we're using acrylic, it dries uh, super fast because over here, we're almost dry. It's very tacky. you'll do is let that dry for a bit 
and then we'll go on to the next step. I'm gonna let it dry for a second, and I'll see you in a minute. Hi, and we are back. Um, it should be dry enough. It only took a few minutes. And if you want to even, you know, expedite the process, you can use a hair dryer and just give it a nice uh, blowout. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add our um, horizon, our hill. That is going to be in the background. To do that, you're going to go into your white and start wherever you would like and just make a hill, a hill, a horizon, depth. That purple still looks a little damp, so we're gonna be extra careful in the Professor Plums. That is a, another word for purple. We're gonna just go just like that. And feel free to make that look as wispy as you want. Because this is a fantasy dreamlike experience, just like Vincent Van Gogh's. We don't want any super hard lines. Well, you know what? If you want it to be a hard line, go for it. I'm just painting how, oh, there's that purple. Oh, that made it kind of a nice look. I like that. That purple was not wanting to dry. Everything else was like, yes, Emily, I'm good to go. Purple was like, mm -mm, no, I must sit longer, which is fine. Patience is a virtue. paint often as I like, but it is very relaxing. I hope you are having a nice relaxing time too. Oh, now for another fun part. We're going to make our windy accents. And you feel free to make these as big or as small or as many as you want. I'm going to do, I think two. I'm going to do two. Two little wispy friends. It's the wind. Just like that. What a good wispy friend. Sorry for the sniffies. I have aggressive allergies. Are you guys experiencing allergies too? After that rain, all the trees were like, oof! All in time. My nose was like, please, don't. We can't take it. <clears throat> I'm gonna connect my little wispies. And then feel free to do wispies around the wispies. Very technical term, wispy. <laughs> Let's make our moon. First we need to make a base for the moon. A white base for the moon. And you can make your moon however you'd like. Traditionally it's a crescent moon, but if you want a full moon, or a half moon, or a three quarters moon, a gibbous moon, I think that's the proper term. And then we're gonna make a little, some more of that good wispy action around our moon friend. And you see that I've changed um, brush sizes 
Uh, you do not have to do that. Most of this can be done with one size, kind of a medium size brush. So if you don't have that many size brushes, that's again perfectly fine. Now it's star time. So add your stars wherever you'd like. Just add a little white spot where you want the star to be. Because it is in fact a starry night. <laughs> I'm gonna add so many stars. I'm gonna add some stars here. Some stars here. I'm trying very hard not to break out in this starry, starry night. <laughs> My personal favorite is the Josh Groban version. Don't know about you guys. Again, wispy time. Gotta love them wispies. Wisp, wisp. You make it kind of spotty or more wispy style. If, even if there's not enough white on your brush, that's exactly what we're going for. Or again, I am not here to tell you how to be creative. That is all on you. Can't wait to see what people do. It's gonna be so cool. Wisp, wisp, wisp. Having a grand wispy time. That looks pretty good. So then now, where we have our stars, we're gonna add, and our moon, we're gonna add a pinch of yellow. Just so it has that. Of course, putting yellow on yellow kind of makes it disappear. <laughs> Was it thinking? <laughs> ah, still good. Star, 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 star. Just adding that yellow to the stars. And then here comes the fun part. We have all of these colors on our palette, so we're gonna use all of them. I still have yellow on my brush, so I'm probably gonna use that first, just since it's on there. And we're just going to add more wispies. And what we'll do with our other colors is add wispies with those colors. Just so many wispies, wispies for days. Yep, that <laughs> just just cover up all the white. <laughs> And this is my favorite part of this painting because honestly, you can do so much with just all of these, just these few colors. And, there, and there's no right or wrong way and you just keep going until you go, yes, this is exactly how I want it to look. I'm done with this. So now I'm gonna go with some orange, give some orange in there. And so what's neat is like, as you can see when I'm using the color in the gradient that matches what color I'm using currently, it kind of just blends in and gives it a little, a little depth, a little something, something. I 
If your colors mix, that's perfectly fine. That gives it just a certain je ne sais quoi. Let us know if you send us your, uh, your pictures, if um, if you've painted before, or if you if you're a painter by trade, or just by hobby. And then washed off my brush just a little bit since I'm going to be going into the cooler tone colors. So let's do that purple that. Very slow drying purple. Make sure my paintbrush is dry enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. It makes me nervous every time I start using to do purple wispies. I don't know why. I'm like, but that's okay. You can be nervous. Just make sure you actually, you know, go through with it. Be brave with the dangerous colors. Oh, it's coming along so nice. I bet yours is too. Wispies. Making little wispies. Ooh, got a lot of purple on that brush. Blue time. Oh, nope, forgot to put some little perps on here. Oh no, I did. It just turned into brown because color wheel. Some blue. Blue, blue, blue. Abedi. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I really like blue. Blue's a nice color. I like, honestly, I probably just like all colors. Yellow is my personal fave, though. Definitely yellow is the fave. But I do like all colors. Rainbow. You're not me. Why are you touching this line? Don't worry. I will get there. I think. I think, I think. Oh, I should probably add some pink. Let's do some pink. Didn't go, ah. I did not clean my brush. So it's very pinky, purple, bluey. That's okay. You just keep on plugging along. All right, so we're gonna go in a little bit with our other colors down here, but not too much, honestly, because we wanna keep that a soft white. We can do a little bit just to give it a little something. I'm gonna go back with some white though, just to thicken it up a little bit. look at it and go mm, yeah I think I'm done which is that's where I'm at with our accents we are going to add in uh, some black which I've already put on my palette so I'm going to dry my brush off real fast all right 
So if you look at this and go, mm, yes, I do believe I am done. We are going to add our tower, our castle, tree, whatever you want to add. I'm going to do kind of a more traditional-esque Vincent tower. All right. I'm going to start here. And then you just kind of make an idea of what you want. Add us kind of another tower. We'll fill in after we go. And since this is in the foreground, it's going to go past our hill. Because our hill is in the background. Don't feel bad covering up your little wispies because you will always know they're there. Make this one a little taller. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. I have had friends that made this painting and they did a Hogwarts castle. Someone made just the traditional one, and another one made um, the dark tower. Just get as creative as you'd like. This painting is yours. And now we're just going to fill that in completely. I've gotten very quiet with this. I'm just like, because <gasps> <laughs> no matter how many times I do this painting, I'm like, did I mess it up? But again, I can't mess it up. cover you up so much, but you're still up here. You're still doing your orangey thing. There we go. And then to create a little bit of depth on our, you can do this if you'd like, you don't have to. I know that it always looks good to me. Oof, there's so much paint on that brush. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> and so we'll just add a little bit of a dark line splitting the hill. Yeah. And then after that, I like to add a little bit of something here. Um, my friend when added the car from Supernatural on hers. I'm just gonna make some little houses, abstract houses. So it's kind of like there's a little village down here having a good sleepy night time during the starry night, taking a good sleep sleeps. And there we go. I think that is it. I'm feeling good with this one. All right, so then our next step is to take a kind of a smaller brush, choose whichever color makes you happy. Since you know how much I like yellow, I'm gonna do probably a little bit of yellow and orange so it shows up on the blue. And sign it. So you will just
I swear that says Emily. <laughs> and there you go. That is uh, your fantasy starry night. I hope you had a great time. And I'm going to be doing one more of these in July. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Uh, feel free to go to our website to see more of our virtual programmings. That would be fortbend.lab.tx.us. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Y'all have a good one.